Okay, so I pretty much ruined how you actually do this in the previous one. Uh, I actually showed you how, how to actually do what I'm about to show you how to do it, uh, do now. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to um, I'm going to put a, I'm going to create another widget here, a widget another widget for the for the site. Um, and what you might want to do is un under menus, which will be covered later, you can create custom menus. So what I'm going to do, and once you've created a custom menu, you can add that custom menu to the sidebar of the site. You choose what menu you want to have. I'm going to choose the footer menu here, even though I wouldn't normally put in there. But you might have five pages under about, and you might want to put the you, you might want to put those pages here, um, a links to those pages here in the sidebar. So we will call this. Uh, about menu, even though it's the footer menu, and then I click save, and then if I refresh this, you'll see the about menu appear here. Okay, that's how easy it is to uh, to add uh, widgets to your sidebar. Now, if you look through all of these plugins, like features, there's a features widget, team members, there's a team members widget, testimonials, go down to T, it's in alphabetical order, uh, testimonials widget. There's also a text widget, okay? So with a text widget, you can add, uh, for instance, uh, face, a Facebook page, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead now, put a page from Facebook, which is a Yakadanda page, okay? I'm gonna put that in there. You'll see it automatically brings in that. I'll say that the width of that sidebar, you've gotta get this right. Um, the width of the sidebar is approximately 215 pixels wide, so I type in 215, so it makes it a pretty skinny one, and the height, uh, 300. Work. Facebook doesn't do this very well, but um, now I don't want to have a border on there because my, my sidebar doesn't really, doesn't have a border around uh, my widgets, so I don't want to have a border on there. And then I basically get the code, I go to the iframe, I copy that, and now what I do is under the widgets in the text, I'll go Facebook, I'll give it a title, and then I'll drag and drop that in there and save it, save that code. Just remember, it's the iframe code, it's the one that works best with WordPress. And now I refresh the page, and there you'll see the Facebook widget appear in the sidebar. Okay, so with the, the, text, the text area widget, you can put whatever text you want in there. And you can also make it automatically add the paragraph so that there's a, a break uh, in between each one. Um, you can put links in the in the text. You can use a Google Map and get the, the code from Google Maps and put it in there and have a map display. You can pretty much do anything. But that's the text the, the text widget. It can do quite a few things, uh, including Google Plus. You know, if you look at the Google Plus again, it's a, a bit of code that Google gives you to put in there, and then that automatically does that. So you'll see that there's a lots of different plugins. Uh, lots of different uh, widget options to put into your sidebars um, and you basically just test it out. You don't want to have too many but you want to have them relevant to the page. If it's a blog post then all your social media stuff should be in your, on your sidebar of your blog. If it's about it's all your company information etc etc.